Welcome to Cholesterol Symposium. This is probably the first and the last episode in this series. I just wanted to give an update. I mentioned that I had high cholesterol in another video and I thought I'd just let you know what went on with that. Um, all right, so, all right, my, my cholesterol was 168. That's uh, what it was when I had my last health check, which is high. Uh, and, uh, and so I watched my weight and, and what I ate for about a month and I had it rechecked and it had gone down, the bad cholesterol had gone down two points to 166 and the good cholesterol had gone up one point. So I should have seen a little bit more of an, an improvement. So I think it's more of a DNA thing, um, high cholesterol. My dad has high cholesterol. And, uh, and anyway, so I got some medicine and, and actually it's the same kind of medicine that Bear Clooney recommended in the comment to that previous video. Thank you, Bear. And thank you for the other people that uh, give me some advice. That was great. And um, I, you know, I do appreciate it. It feels like I have friends out there looking after me, which is nice. So uh, that was Crestor that that Bear Cleaning recommended. And so I got on Crestor, 2.5 milligrams if you're curious. Just had a, another blood test and it went from 166, the bad cholesterol, to 101, which I'm well in the range of being normal and, and good. So chapter closed. Um, I guess I'll be on Crestor for uh, what? The rest of my life? I don't know. Um, but for the foreseeable future. So I'm, I'm back to having normal cholesterol levels and, uh, and that's it. And, and uh, thanks again for the advice. And I tell you, as a thank you, I'm gonna give you guys some uh, watch footage from, um, this is a, a, just a, a, an electronic store and we'll, we'll go get some, some watch footage. I, I got uh, reprimanded for taking video last time, but I'll try to sneak some in. Take care guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. It looks like a cocktail. Also, I thought this was kind of interesting. Um, one of these open heart watches, automatic, not too expensive. I could possibly see getting something like that. I don't think I'd ever wear it though, so. Uh, these are Corsage line, which is sort of a, a certainly a lower tier than Grand Seiko's, as you can imagine, uh, price-wise, you can see that. And different variations. About $400 for this solar-powered watch. All right, guys, just a little Grand Seiko footage. I've taken footage here before. I'm not sure if the stock has changed, though. What you have here, okay, quartz. It's going to be quartz as well. Okay, automatic, considerably more expensive as it would be. That's pretty black dialed one. This would be quartz. I don't know about you guys, but the pick of this litter for me would probably be this automatic right here. Very, very pretty. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care.